you better live or how you spit it Or be equivalent to subtraction I give you the difference A truck full of work and a tank full of cash That's yeah. the soul Hey, how's it going? This is Ed Lee from NYC Street Legends. I'm here with MC Nautilus right over here, my main homie. Uh, love this guy to death. Anyways, today I'm going to talk to him about Copwatch, one of the organizations that he works with. Super awesome. And, you know, we're just going to let everybody out there know exactly what this organization does, why it's necessary, things like that. So first question for my man, MC Nautilus, will be, uh, what is Copwatch? Well, Copwatch is basically a community self-defense tactic that has two functions like on the surface one is the physical act of recording police as they're conducting their duties and what that does is that that creates a, a repository of all police actions so when they're uh, conducting searches or even if it's a lawful search or if it's unlawful they know that we're filming them and we have it on record so in future day if the the victim or whoever they're they're uh, conducting the search on needs evidence um, they can use it from our archives um, and it also we're trying to create a culture of uh, empowerment for people so cops usually you know prey on the weak right so if they know you know we can't be everywhere all the time but if they know if the community knows that it is within their right to film police they're gonna film it whether or not we're there or not and if the police know that they're gonna think twice you know it's kind of like reverse panopticon where as the theory was you know back in the days they would have jail cells as like all around this one watchtower and you can't see into the watchtower but the watchtower can see into you at all times so you never know who's watching you can be watched at, at any time we're trying to like you know do a little cultural jujitsu and flip that so police know that people are watching and they're not gonna like stand for their bullshit. It is one of the more constructive, non-violent ways of reacting to p police brutality. You know, we're in New York, it's happening. Uh, you just have to look at the news. Um, everything I do, I try to just stay local. You know, a lot of people want wanna fucking go to Africa, you know, <laughs> go to go to yeah. Southeast Asia, help help little kids. That's cool, whatever. Uh, yeah. There's a need there, but while I'm living here, it's it's shit's happening down the block, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um I love I love New York City and I I love the community that I patrol in. Um I'm on the Jackson Heights team. Doesn't Nas yeah. have a line about that? Like how you're trying to fix uh, some other place when you can't fix home yet something like that. Totally. I'm not that exact line. Yeah. Line. Probably, yeah. you know, that makes sense. I'm, I'm, I don't doubt that Nas would say that shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's something to keep in mind because uh, a lot of people they go overseas, you know, for a fucking Instagram photo or some shit, you know, and and it's not glamorous. Uh, it's not as glamorous. I think it's very rewarding. Um, cop watch. I respect the fact that you know, um, it's also like it's easy to go to like another country where, you know, and take some action, but. You're taking a stand against people that have a possibility of, of, you know, taking direct action upon you in a physical sense right there. And that's something that I feel like we need more of in this, uh, in oh, this society. I think it's awesome, bro. You know, it's it's not even, like, in one hand, it's easy to go because now there's a lot of, like, package tours. Like, oh, just, yeah. just give us this much money. And on another hand, it's not that easy to go, right? Because you need that money to go overseas. Like, this is, this is very low cost, like, activism. Yeah. I, I don't like to use like you know it's get efficient. that involved but yeah it's yeah. like if you have time and you care about your community um we have teams all over the city you know like my team is just one of, of many many patrols um the key to our success you know our strategy is to stay consistent so n maybe not everybody can devote eight hours a week sure. obviously to to walking four hours um around our community okay but if you have enough people, you can always have a presence um, around people, and and we we receive a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure people don't people have never heard about us. They see we have you know we all have matching outfits. We have shirts. When people understand what we're doing, just the stories that they tell us are are just pretty unbelievable. Just like yeah, my cousin was like 
beat up over there on that block. Oh, yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Like, I saw someone getting their hair pulled over there. Fucking beat him down to a pulp. Shit like that. And, you know, what you... The, the shit that you hear online, you know, you got the buzz feeds and stuff like police brutality, this, that, you know, it's, it's cool. Like, you see people taking notice, especially right now. It's, it's extremely relevant. Like, look at what's going on with Ferguson. You know, the kid just got shot after the fact, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, it's it's necessary. I think uh, it's a healthy democracy, you know, you know, that's a whole other conversation. Um, but I think it's a gateway into us trying to even question, like, why are police even necessary? Like, what is their role? You know what I'm saying? Are there, is there such thing as a good police officer? What is, what is their function? Uh, what is the relationship with us, non-police, you know? Um, I definitely agree. There's definitely, uh, you know, police definitely have a complex relationship, in some ways simple relationship with uh, people in charge, the uh, status quo, um, you know, people that are, you know, like when you look, look, look at how uh, police enforce laws, right? Like if you watch the, like um, how police protect like the rich areas versus how they protect the poor areas, Sometimes it's really, really different. You know, the way they protect establishment, you know, you'll see like an army of like 200 guys, you know what I mean? And then you'll see like a store getting robbed and it'll take like half an hour for the cops to even show up, you know? And it's totally different the way, you know? And it gets yeah. super complex because everything's in flux. You know, we're, we live in a city that has immense wealth. You know, we live in a metropole. And uh, this is kind of like all eyes on us, you know? Like, this is New York City. So much resources comes in. And we see it every day uh, in terms of, like, gentrification. So that's another big issue that's happening right now in Jackson Heights. It's called the BID, basically. Um, Prison Improvement District. Exactly. Right. They're trying to raise the rents, you know. So gentrify it. Gentrify it. It's beginning. You know, if anyone has been to Jackson Heights, it's a wonderful freaking neighborhood. And um, I used to be from there. Yeah, it's yeah. it's amazing like the the amount of languages that are spoken and and how everyone lives next to each other pretty much in harmony you know what I'm saying and the interactions that you can get and right now a few you know s speculators they, they they see they see an opportunity they're gonna go for it that's not where that's not obviously cop watches main deal that's that's a personal thing for me what we do is we're we're reacting to an increased police presence in the neighborhood because of this bid um and also you know we we see data that shows stop and frisk is ex extremely prevalent in that neighborhood and um we've been out there for now like more than two years and uh it's cool like people are are very passionate like young people especially, I think it's time for us to show like show young people they can do something. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of people don't know free time. What what can I do with it? You know, and yeah. and we offer like a some some after school activities, even though it's probably like way past the bedtime. But <laughs> um, you get to meet cool people. I think cop watch. I think there's actually opportunities like right after school too. There's a lot of cops out there right after school doing stop and frisk and all kinds of business like that. That's what we hear. Um, yeah. So that's uh, how can people um get involved with cop watch? Well, cop watch is not like a very. It's very organized. Okay. And it's not like yeah, it's it's not like all right, here's a camera, let's go, uh, walk around. You know what I'm saying? It's you have to be trained for it. it, it there is structure. It's not like laissez faire. You know what I'm saying? Um, you you go through a training. So first of all, you gotta get in contact with us, and uh, we can organize a training. You got to learn what are the specific roles of of the team. Um, usually, our patrols. Or we try to maximize security for ourselves. You know, it's makes sense. we're not trying to get into like physical confrontation with people with guns, uh, who you know, has shown like there's no consequence for them killing people. So we try to make it so everyone understands their role. It's a very very tight knit group, 
and it's also like very effective at outreach. So it's not just when you're on patrol. Usually it's a four hour thing. Okay. And um, you walk around, and our our mo is anytime we see police action, we stop and film. No matter what it is, it could be okay. like they're stopping a bank robbery. We still film. We're there to witness it okay. and to show them like no matter what you're doing, we're gonna be watching you. Cause that's just how it's gonna be. Cause you watch yeah. us no matter what, you know. Okay. And uh, we're exercising our. I think it's better more accountability all around. Totally. Right. Totally. Um, especially since it's coming from within us, not them. There's a lot of plans right now to put like cameras on them. That's personally, you know, that's a whole other discussion. But there are problems with that. You can. The 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 thing I fear the most is a complacent public. You know, like it's people who are too distracted to think like. Somebody down the street just got killed, and they're like, "Oh, whatever, I'm gonna play Xbox and, and not care about the community." That's really that's, sad. That's really sad, and it's not. Re- you can't just blame that person. I think the system is structured so that it distracts us. Yeah. You know. Hopefully so we can do something about it with these videos and yeah, some people involved with these uh, very worthy groups. I think it's super awesome. Um, I like to actually put the. Uh, th- there's a very interesting history behind this organization. Mm-hmm. Put that on another video. Um, and, and I'll definitely put a link to uh, the uh, how to contact with the website, mm-hmm. the emails, how you can get involved with this awesome group. Um, any last things you want to add about Copwatch before we talk about the history of it? Like totally. Uh, we have we have uh, recurring like know your rights training. You know, it's so not you don't have to join the group to know your rights. Um, that's basically what we do as we're walking around when we're not filming the police because sometimes it's a it's a good night and we don't stumble upon anything. We we hand out flyers in many different languages, okay. and you know we're we really just want people to raise a public awareness to what police can and can't do to you, as well as things that you can do to protect yourself, your friends, your loved ones. Um, and we we have these trainings all over the city, so you should come to one. You know, with your friends, it's it's. It's cool. It's it's like learning a martial art, you know. Except it's like a mental art, yeah. you know. Know your rights. Like people, people have set in in place like foundations that, you know, they're all social constructs, but like still they can protect you, at least you know on paper. And I'm it's good to know. Out, that sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah, you should definitely, definitely know about out. it. Yeah, yeah. So you know, follow follow us on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? We got we got a Facebook group and we got a website, and that will be in the. Uh, It'll all be in the link description, and also I'll put it in the video right there. Yeah, dope, man. Right. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yo, yeah. Thanks again yeah. for uh, coming through yeah. and talking about, you know, we really need more of this type of uh, awesomeness, you know? Less distraction and more getting to things that really matter. Thank you so much. Cool, man. All right.